day everyone, here's our daily meditation for the 9th of July. There comes a time in the life of every child where they learn to ask the greatest question of all. Why? I remember particularly that stage with my children when there was always a, a why question on their lips. As I look back, they were good times indeed and all too fleeting. In our text today, we're looking at a verse from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29 in particular which was a regular go-to verse when my intellectual and explanatory powers had been exhausted by their questioning it says this the secret things belong to the lord our god but the things that are revealed belongs to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law this verse comes in the middle of a section where Moses is encouraging the assembled people of God to accept and be faithful to the covenant that God made with them at Horeb. He has just told them the fate of the land if they are unfaithful and wander into idolatry and warns them to obey what God has revealed to them. This verse then comes as a reminder to God's people of our immense responsibility to focus on that which God has revealed. That which God has revealed has a purpose. Truth has been given to us in order that we might obey God. The key to all that God has revealed is obedience. That is the fundamental purpose of placing this text at the end of this long chapter on covenant renewal. What had been revealed had to capture the gaze and produce the devoted obedience of God's people. The same applies to us. Of course, as this verse states, there are things that are secret. Matters which God in his sovereign purpose has not made known to us. Some of these things include many of the hows of God and the whys of life. How is God triune? How did he create by the power of his word? Why did this or that happen in my life? Some things we are not to know, at least not yet. But we are to be content that God knows. None of this allows us to be ignorant of what God has revealed by what he has said or irresponsible in terms of hiding behind the fact of hiddenness to cover our apathy or disobedience. We can freely admit to mystery being a part of our faith, but there is enough in what has been revealed to take up the capacity of our intellect and concentration for over a hundred lifetimes. May we be among those who, understanding what God has revealed, are devoted to faithful obedience, which is the very evidence of our love for God. God bless.